This week on the keyframe, another animation record is broken, a live action Woody Woodpecker movie, and thoughts on Pokemon Go. Welcome to the keyframe, more here from bloopanimation.com. Here are the latest news from the animation and visual effects industry. Animation dominated the box office for a fifth weekend in a row, with Finding Dory for the first three and The Secret Life of Pets for the last two. And Cartoon Brew reported that this is a new record for animation in the box office. Many people still regard animation as a kid's thing, but with movies like The Secret Life of Pets, which attracted more adults than kids, and the soon-to-be-released R-rated movie Sausage Party, the world will soon realize the potential of what can be done with animation, that it can be more than just a kid's thing. And we'll see even more interesting animation projects coming out soon, I hope. Universal Studios is making a live-action Woody Woodpecker movie. The movie is aimed at Brazilian audiences and will star the Brazilian actress Tyla Ayala and will probably not see a theatrical release in the US. The movie is written and will be directed by Alex Zam, responsible for other straight-to-video releases like Inspector Gadget 2 and Beverly Hills Chihuahua 2. So I can't say I'm too excited for this one, but we'll see. Pokemon Go. I guess I have to address it at this point, right? First, I gotta say that I was a huge Pokemon fan as a kid. I watched all the animated series, played the card, the Game Boy games, and everything. Still, I would have never expected the iPhone game would take off like it did. Creating all these stories around the world, Jimmy Fallon is obsessed with it, Hillary Clinton even mentioned it in one of her rallies. Nintendo has almost doubled its stock since launching the game, and it's quickly become the most popular app on the iPhone app store. Nintendo has had a rough few years lately, slowing losing its place in the console war with the Wii U, but the company has always found new ways to reinvent themselves, over and over. And while I don't think this game is going to completely transform the company, it shows they are still innovating, creating the first mainstream VR game ever. And that would probably open the floodgates for many more games with that technology. Just like everyone was doing motion sensor controls after they did. While I haven't played the game personally, it makes me happy to see both Nintendo and Pokemon make such an impact on so many people and actually making them go outside and play. This is a great new genre of gaming, which I hope will keep on growing. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching The Keyframe. New episodes come out every week, so stay tuned. If you want to get into the animation industry too, we have some great courses for you at bloopanimation.com for some of the most popular animation software out there. The courses will take you step by step through the entire animation process from start to finish, ending up with a complete animated shot. So check them out.